What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kimetsu no Yaiba chapter 135. So last chapter of Kimetsu no Yaiba, um, we started uh, Himejima's training and oh my god. <laughs> Man, this training arc is just goddamn torture. Oh god. So um, Himejima uh, had... Um, Tantra and the others like sitting in this freezing cold waterfall and meditating and shit and doing this log training and um, And the other thing was uh, pushing a boulder uh, Well rock, but it's really a boulder across um, a, a town, but it, you know like a but the forest and um, <laughs> It's okay almost died of hypothermia, but um, but uh, Tantra got through the first two parts just fine, but this third part he's struggling with. Um, but luckily, my boy Genya came across Tanjiro, and uh, first of all, he told Tanjiro that his mark is getting darker, and that means my boy Tanjiro is getting stronger, and oh man, it's getting me hyped for this fight because um, at the end of the chapter, um, Muzin uh, has, has declared that he has is getting um, closer to making his move on the demon hunters, which got me really hyped. But what um, Genya said, the key is, is to do the chant that um, that uh, um, Himajima does. So, and that's what I kind of figured. But anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. The training approaches its finale. <gasps> The fights are coming. The demons are coming. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And this chapter is titled um, Himajima Giyome. Oh my god, I'm so fucking hyped. I am hyped as fuck. According to what Genya ta um, taught me, repetitive actions is a technique that opens all five senses. Uh, Genya may not be able to use breasts, but he can achieve full focus another way, repetitive actions. When Himajima-san and Genya use it, they remember their anger and painful memories. Um... Uh, that makes their heart rate and temperature go up. Um, as we talked about various things, the signs were pointing to the possibility that, that this might be the same thing as um, my mark coming out. But Himajima-san and Genya had no marks, so we cocked our heads in confusion. The difference, I think, and well, this is especially in the case for Takeda and um, and uh, Kuroji, is they were in life or death situations, and that's why their marks came up. In regards to Tanjiro, Tanjiro, and this is why his mark is coming up and why they haven't, uh, Tanjiro is the source of the mark. So that's why he's different from everyone else, period. He is the source. In order for anyone else to get marks, it, um, they've got to be connected to the source, aka Tanjiro, and then they got to have their um, near-death experience kind of thing, have that, um, have the the um, memories and the shit that makes their heart rate and temperature go up and then it then uh, they'll get their mark that's what um, that's what I'm guessing by doing these repetitive actions you can raise your focus at any given moment Woo! It, it would be nice if I can learn to maintain my darkened mark forever oh damn straight that would be awesome because I think if Tanjiro can maintain his darkened mark forever well, uh, um, that means he would be able to um, not maintain his stamina and also maintain his breasts longer, especially for his dance of the fire and sun gods. My repetitive actions were remembering the faces of all my loved ones, then recalling Rengoku-san's words, set your heart ablaze. You got, I'm telling you. God damn it, Rengoku. I, I just have to wonder if Rengoku knew this shit was going to happen, though. I'm, I'm starting to think Rengoku knew that <laughs> fucking Tanjiro was the sun, was what, was part of the fire slash sun god tribe. <laughs> to wonder this shit. Um, and with that, I raised my focus to its maximum limit. I think the key thing for Tanjiro, in all reality, is all he needs to really think about is think about... Rengoku's death, especially when Akaza comes. Oh man, that's all you need, Tanjiro. Just remember Akaza killing Rengoku, and that, and there you go. 
there you go. Your mark will be ablaze and just like your heart because you will be focused on motherfucking revenge. You will be avenging um, Rengoku. But anyway, and uh, the other thing I'm I'm thinking as well is um, well, part of me is thinking like thinking about you know the fa- uh, the the demon that um, attacked the village and you know turn Nezuko into a demon. That could be another one too, but anyway. I couldn't do it in the beginning, but I was able to use all the strength I had by doing these repetitive actions, and after a number of times, as I did them again and again, my body began to remember the way to bring out that power through these actions. Oh, there, and the mark is darkening. Look at that mark. Look at his mark. Look at the mark. Oh Oh my god, I swear to god, if it is revealed that Tanjiro is a half demon, I'm going to do the biggest I fucking told you so ever I, and I will love it because I have been saying this shit for a long time he did it Tadro fucking did it that monster you <laughs> even fucking Sinatsu says he's a monster <laughs> shit I lost <laughs> I love you not enough if I ease up for a moment I'll lose strength and stop pushing it don't just use the arms, legs, use your legs. The lower body has more muscles than the upper body. Ah, tempura, tempura! Pig assault! <laughs> pig assault! The power of pig assault compels you. Oh my god, I missed you, pig assault. How, wait, how long has it been since we've seen a pig assault? I think the last pig assault we saw was back in the Taki fight. <laughs> oh my god, it's been a long ass time since we have had pig assault. <laughs> Oh, it feels good, man. It feels good. Look at the power of Pick Assault. Go! Pick Assault! Oh, God. And Suki moved the boulders, too. This sucks. I'm going to be the only one left now. This sucks. So that's it. Just go take a nap and you'll be able to move the fucking boulder. Huh? A letter? I moved it across town. Now, Himajima sounds training is over. Huh? Oh my god, poor, poor Tanjiro. Uh, oh, I'm dehydrated because I sweated out an entire waterfall without drinking anything. This is an answer. It's Sergei Murata-san. I might die here. Someone. Oh, oh Hirojima-san saved me. Oh, thank god. Namu Amida, um, Dabutsu. Namu Amida Butsu. And he's still crying. Like, uh, did I die? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm alive! Thank you very much! He's still, he's still giving me water! What are you doing, Kimujima? The rock pillar training is complete. On top of that, you did the right thing in the village. I accept you. Village? God, God, water, water, okay now. You prioritized the humans in the swordsmith village over your sister when crisis struck. Oh, look, there's no shame in that. Um, you truly are a swordsman. You acted the right way. You should be proud. No, you're wrong. Nezuko made that choice, not me. I couldn't come to a decision and left the village- villagers in danger. I cannot accept your acceptance. He's still crying. Like, what the fuck is with Hime, he, um, Hime, um, Jima and his constant crying? Children are pure and naive, weak, quick to lie, completely fine with cruelty, selfish little things. But this boy is truly different. I really want to go. I really want to go down the the right path um, all the time, but I don't know what will happen next. Someone always comes to help me, so I end up making the right dis, uh, right choice, and everyone comes out okay. Uh, but that time in particular was an extremely close call. So please don't accept me uh, um, as simply as that. Thank you for the water and thank you for the training today. I learned a lot. My doubts are gone. No matter what the others say, I will accept you, Kamado Tachiro. Yay! Himichima! Yay! Uh, I don't get it. Why? Long ago, I raised some kids... Ooh, we're learning about his backstory now. Long ago, I raised some uh, kids who had no family in a temple. Our affinity and having no blood connection helped us bond together very well. I raised them like my family, and I wanted to keep life that way forever. But then one night, a kid who disobeyed the temple rules and didn't come back after the sunset ran into a demon. Oh no! In order to save himself, he told the demon to eat me and um, the eight kids at the temple. Oh no! Oh! 
In the area I lived in, the threat of demons was what very well known, and I always burned wisteria incense at night. That kid uh, put out all the wisteria. Oh no! That kid put out all the wisteria incense and invited um, the demon into the temple. Oh, what a dick! Four kids were killed immediately. I tried my best to protect the other four, but three of them didn't listen to my words. Back then, I didn't eat a lot, so I was skinny and weak, and my voice was so soft. Uh, my, and my voice was soft, so I couldn't shout loudly. On top of that, a blind person like myself wouldn't be of use to anyone. That was um, what uh, those kids were probably thinking. So Hinojima-san can't see. So he's blind. I, I I actually didn't. I didn't. Oh my god, so Himajima's blind! I, I, I totally forgot Himajima's blind! Or, I, like, or it just wasn't, or, like, it just slipped my mind that he was blind. The only one who listened to me was uh, the youngest child, Sayo. She was the only one who hid behind me. The other three kids didn't stay by my side and ran. What a bunch of dumbasses. They all had their throats ripped out in the darkness and they died. I fought because I uh, thought I had, the, um, had to protect Sayo at all costs. Punching a living being felt like hell to me. It felt so disgusting that I uh, will never forget it for the rest of my life. For the first time in my life, I used my fist with full force. Um, oh, I know. Oh, my God. Gotoge, you better be putting that, uh, put, put, um, put, uh, Himajima's marks in his eyes. When he gets his mark, it's gonna be in his eye, and it's gonna look so freaking cool. I can see it. For the first time in my life, I used my fist with full force, and I had a frightening amount of power. And, like, the cool thing about, like, Hibajima, like, I could just, I just can picture it in his eye. Like, I just can. And, like, the demon will get, the demons will get so confused because they'll be like, wait a minute. That, that's a demon, but yeah, I ain't an upper moon. What the fuck? <laughs> That'd be so cool! Katogi, just make it happen, please! Um, if I never got beat, attacked by that demon, I would have, uh, I would have lived my entire life not knowing I was strong. This is, oh my god, this is heartbreaking. I punched the demon's head in again and again until the sun came up. I lost a mountain of things that night. I was wounded, but I managed to protect Sayo. Then when people came to help, Sayo told them, That man's a monster! He killed them! He killed everyone! Sayo, you bitch! No way! It was a terrifying situation, so she was probably confused. Um, she was only four after all. Nothing to be done, that's how kids are. But in my case, I at least want Sayo to be thankful because I protected her. I want her to say thank you for fighting on her behalf. If she had said that one thing, I would have been saved, but kids have their uh, hands full of thinking of themselves. The demon's corpse turned into dust and vanished, so only the children's, children's bodies remained. I was imprisoned and charged with murder. Oh, my God. Oh, no. If um, Oyakata-sama had not intervened, I would have been executed. But ever since then, I have come uh, to harbor deep doubts and suspicions. And, of course, I doubted you. No matter how virtuous a person uh, you are, once you, get punished into, uh, once you get pushed into a corner, your true nature will come out. Oh, my God. Ain't that the truth? And, you know, that explains what we've seen with Kenroji and what we've seen with Takeda. Um, or not Takeda, I meant Takedo, God. What we've seen with Takedo and what we've seen with Kenroji. It really explains that, and it explains why the marks come out then. Because, um, because in Takedo and, um, in Kenroji's, and especially in Takedo's case, uh, Tokido was about to die. He was so close to dying, and fuck, even Karochi was close to dying. She was close to dying, too. And that's when their marks appeared. And I feel, and that's why I said, when I, near the beginning of the video, I was, that's why I said, I feel, it's, or not feels, it seems to me, based on what we've seen so far, that it has to be, like, a near-death experience, or, um, or as Himajime, um, Himajima saw, um, Himajima said, pushed in the corner. But I think Himajima is going to get his mark. Because, uh, but I think the reason why Himajima didn't get a mark yet, um, because, you know, Genya mentioned he didn't get one yet. And that's because 
the key then, as it was mentioned a couple, few chapters back, at the very start of this training arc, that you have to be bonded with the source of the of the mark, which is Tanjiro. And now that Himajima is bonded with Tanjiro, he's I, I, like I can actually see Himajima getting his mark first because he. Uh, out of the ones that haven't gotten their mark yet because he knows how to do it. And fuck, I'm surprised, and uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm surprised Genya hasn't gotten one uh, as of yet. Um, but Genya, but Genya hasn't really been pushed into a corner. Um, but Genya had to eat a demon. Well, Genya ate, was technically, but he ate a demon instead. But anyway. Um, and of course I doubted you. Um, no matter how virtuous... Oh, yeah, I said that. read that part. Uh, I want to read this again here, though, because this is really important. And, of course, I doubted you. No matter how virtuous a person you are, once you get pushed into a quarter, your true nature will come out. And that's going to be the case when we get to these when we get to these fights and when we get to the pillar's marks coming out. I'm telling you, that's going to be the case. But you never ran. Uh, you never turned away. You stayed honest and never lied. It's something so simple, but only a few people are able to do that in every situation they face. You are a special child. I say this after having seen many humans with my heart's eyes, so this is um, uh, absolute. Every person has an uncertain future, but I will help you from now on so you won't take a wrong turn in, in life. Aww. Oh, I, uh, I, would, like, I feel so bad for Himachima. He's been so, he got like so fucked in life. Oh man, I will do my best. Look at Tanjiro's crying. Thank you so much. That, he, oh, I need to, like, Tanjiro is like now his, it, Tanjiro is just, basically Tanjiro is giving Himajima what he wanted from Sayo. And, oh my god, like you got it. He has accepted the, um, the crafts and thoughts from the pillar. My training is complete. You have done very well. Oh my god. This, this chapter was, was really, really good. I'm so fucking excited. Because now we're done. Training arc is complete. But let me give you my thoughts about, um... This chapter, then the training arc, and then what um, I'm hoping is going to go down in next week. So, um, what I really liked about this chapter, we learned about Himajima's past, and something that else that um, we got from this chapter, which was really good, is we definitely got some clarity about about the mark, um, at least in my opinion. Uh, at least, and um, the thing about, and I really love, I feel so bad for Himajima. And I really like him now as a character. And I, I'm telling you, Gotoge, you better be giving him a mark in his eye. But um, something that I really, especially I really like at the end of the chapter when um, when he's crying and he said, you know, he's uh, Tanjiro's crying and he said, um, and he says, I'll do my best and shit. And, and, and he's fighting for his hair. And it's like, this is just when we see the image of Sayo. Like, because that's what he I just wanted to do. He just wanted, to, you know, to hear a thank you from Sayo. And he didn't get that. And, He's finally getting, he's getting, he's getting the thing, he, he's getting the closure. He's got his closure. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> this chapter, like, if this is the final chapter of the, the this training arc, like, I am so fucking satisfied with it. I am satisfied with this arc. This, th this was such a good chapter. Oh my god, I really love this chapter. And the other thing I really liked about um, this chapter as well is, um, is about the repetitive actions about like how um himajima was training with genya to like it, it and how they unleashed their own inner power i really really enjoyed that that i thought that was really really good okay so let's talk about let me talk about the training this training arc as a whole this training arc um i have to say has got to be one of the best training arcs in manga that I think I've ever read. I really, really enjoyed this training arc. It was really, really funny. There was a lot of comedy in this training arc. Um, the writing was brilliant. Um, like, I, you really got to, um, the pillars that we haven't really gotten to know yet, um, uh, we, especially, uh, like, I think the ones that are really going, that, uh, the ones that were are really going to be effective in the next arc, like Himajima, I think is definitely going to be effective for sure. 
and um and uh the water pillar is going to be affected for sure because i'm telling you a ca uh, he's going to be going up against the casa i'm calling that shit now um but uh I re uh, like I really like that we got to know the pillars that we haven't really gotten to know as of yet and it was really really nice and I really liked how fucked up the training was I fucking loved it it was great this is such a good art but um so the next uh art like I'm very curious what direction Gatoge is gonna go in um I will I the one demon, I really, really want Akaza to come first. If we're going to choose a demon, an upper moon demon to come attack, I really, 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 really would love it to be Akaza, especially with, um, you know, this little thing with Brengoku here. Because, oh, God, they're so, uh, like, I would, I just really need to, because, oh, Akaza just needs to come here. Like, I, I hope, Gotoge, please, if you're going to have an upper moon attack first, please let it be Akaza. Muzin, please send Akaza first. I, I really, 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 really want to see Akaza because I want to get some, uh, I really want some certain questions answered about Akaza. Um, and uh, also, I really want Tanjiro to avenge Rengoku. And, um, and like that line in this chapter about like the set your heart ablaze, I would love to see that, you know that scene like like when ta like if Tantra especially goes into like a like a new mode or like has a new breath or something or a new attack oh my god I would love to see that scene in particular oh my god Gatoge please do it do it do it do it do it um the other thing that I'm hoping that we're gonna get in the next arc because we're gonna because th th we're talking about um like the pillars getting their mar uh, marks or pillars that haven't gotten their marks are gonna get their marks um, well, uh, what was the, um, well, Genya, I really want Genya, Genya and his brother gotta get a, I really want the, as I said earlier, I want them to get it, twin marks. I really want to have, like, something going on where we have, like, um, something that, uh, similar to what Tabata did in, uh, Black Clover with, um, Nozelle and, uh, and Noel. But the thing is, is we already know why, um, Genya is getting treated the way he the way he is. We already know why. We know the why about this. We we already do. It's just like I, the thing I would love to see is when they get the twin marks. It's just like that's when Genya will be accepted by his brother. That that's that's what I'm leaning towards. But anyway, I'm really curious what you guys thought of this chapter and what you guys thought of this arc as a whole. I really really enjoyed it. Um, like. I didn't real, and I don't know why I didn't realize that Himajima was blind. Um, but that's really cool that we have a blind character, and um, and jeez, I, I you just gotta feel so you you just gotta feel for him. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, like what you guys saw this chapter, what you guys um, thought of this arc, and um, what you guys are hoping to see in uh, the, the next arc like which demon do you think is going to be coming and attacking us like i really want a cause to come first out of the upper moons i really really want a cause to come first um and also like if we have to have a two uh, uh two of them to come i can't remember his name off the top of my head but the demon that like um turned uh Daki and Giataro into a demon i'd love him to come as well and i want him to fight um uh uh um uh genya and, and his brother. That's, I'd love to see that shit. Uh, but anyway, let me know, uh, know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Gins Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. Uh, it's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.